Where'd you want to go? So I've received a few uh, comments and questions uh, about uh, a post in my Instagram story where th some of my female clients trimmed their nails down and tagged me and uh, made it seem as if I was kind of like a nail Nazi where it's like, look, they're short now, you know, I'm gonna keep them short. And I'm just gonna explain the reason that long nails are bad for your grip. Uh, and you can reference back to all my brachial plexus uh, series there, but you have certain muscles that do this where you just have the fingers straight where so if you have long nails that's basically where you're stopping a lot right because you can't or you don't want to jab your own nails into your your fist okay but there's muscles that responsible for this but then there's even deeper muscles in the forearm responsible to finish closing your fist okay and if you constantly have nails for who knows how long and you're always just working this range of motion then you know you start losing uh, like you know basically signal like a cell phone signal drops in and out. That's basically what's happening here when you're not using them, right? And the longer you go without using them, the less that signal goes from the brain to the body. Okay, that's kind of uh, another example of that is a texture thumb here. Worst case I ever had was a younger lady, college student. I released her texture thumb and I told her to move her thumb here, like clicking it. It was so bad up here that it took her about three to five seconds before it finally bent after I had released it. Okay, so anyways, with all that being said, like I said, go back and uh, reference my brachial plexus series. Here in front of me is a rice bucket. And the reason I have it here is this is kind of like an old school trick for grip strengthening purposes. Okay, and so I'm just gonna go through some small things that you could do with this. Um, as I dig in my hands, sometimes I keep them open and I'll wave them back and forth. I'll gri grab uh, two fistful of rice and I'm moving those back and forth circles, right? And it's just about moving patterns, okay? And basically trying to dig all the way down inside. That way you, there's resistance for your fingers both ways that you're working them. And another thing to keep in mind, you have straight, uh, or when your arms are straight, okay, you have the muscles that cross over here, the most superficial muscles of your forearm. And when you bend your elbow in here and you start doing the patterns, you're gonna end up getting your deeper forearm muscles, okay? So make sure you're doing both arm straight, arm bent, and just mess around with the pattern in there and just go till you burn out, guys. Uh, I know it's a little bit of a rant, but I hope it helped. And let me know if you have any questions.